Hello, everyone, and welcome to session three of business analysis series. So uh, in this session, uh, we thought that we should first guide everyone about how to make a sector or a company repository. Now, a lot of practicing investors have abundant idea of how to collect information. See, although it has been stated a lot that now information is no edge, uh, it is a digitized world, you get everything you want, but still as per our experience, for people who are not practicing into capital market full-time, they still have very little clue about all the documents and websites or sources they can access to actually take information about a company or about an industry. That has been our experience. So we thought that let's you know, write a blog on it. So again, if you visit our website, uh, please read blog 103 on creating database for industry and company research. So in this session, I will show you uh, broadly approximately everything that you can take out regarding uh, a, a company while you are researching it. So uh, coming straight to the point, while you are analyzing a company, you need to broadly analyze three angles. Oh, all right, you need to talk, you need to analyze the industry. You need to analyze the company in point, right? A particular company that you're, for example, if you're analyzing auto sector, obviously auto industry, uh, you need to, you know, you need to understand two wheeler industry. For example, if you are analyzing a Bajaj Auto, you need to understand about Bajaj Auto in depth, and also you need to understand about all the competitors in the two wheeler space, like Hero or Aisher or now the electric, uh, you know, manufacturers like Ola Electric or Ether Energy, etc. So broadly, you need to take out information about three zones: overall industry about your company and about the competitors, all right? So we'll focus on all the resources. So this is not a analytical aspect, but this is the step that you need to do before you start analyzing businesses. And trust me, it's like that, that foundation. If you build it strong, you will get broadly everything you want about a company. Because see, when you read a lot of blogs, you read a lot of research papers or initiating coverage reports. You get very fascinated by the report. demand supply data analysis And he came to the conclusion that industry ke supply as compared to demand, so prices down aayenge cement ke. So companies ko nuksan hoga because they will have to sell at lower rate. You get inspired by the research and you understand the fundamental principle too. For example, cement ke andar, if supply of cement will be greater than demand of cement, there would be impact on cement prices. Although due to cartelization in India, that's not 100% true, but let's keep it for another, another time. But let's talk about broad concept. If cement ke prices are down, then the cement ki companies will be margins kam honge because their pricing will be reduced. All right. This is good. You understand the foundation. Now, what if I tell you to practice it for the coming quarter or for the coming years? The buck starts with getting the capacity data of companies in cement and understanding and getting the data for historical demand of, of cement, both on, on the B2B side, the infra real estate side, and the replacement side, the consumer side. If you don't data, even if you have understood, first of all, very limited people are able to understand the connecting the dot system. But still, if you have done that, still you cannot do anything. You have data hi hath lagta. And when the data primary source se publish and secondary source, tak aata hai, boss, tab tak market already react kar chuka hota hai. Remember, market is a forward-looking machine. You would be acting on increased or decreased stock prices. That is why it's more important to stick to the primary sources where data is originate. Hota hai. Now, obviously, depending on industry to industry or sector to sector, these sources can be multifold. What today we'll be talking about 
are general sources which will help you analyze or sorry which will help you extract primary data for majority of businesses now things will get add into the the total list of sources depending on industry to industry we will cover that too so we are planning you know after business in business analysis only we will take later on a lot of industry oriented sessions too like how to analyze pharma real estate it cement infra banking ndfc chemical both specialty and commodity etc so we'll talk about industry specific stuff there but this is for broad a uh, company repository perspective this session so first of all uh, you need to understand ki aapki industry ki their companies kon kon si aati hai so bsc india maintains a industry watch list i have provided the link here i have already opened all the tab so that time is saved you can go here to the industry watch list and you can come to know you can click on any industry let's say two wheeler three wheeler if you click here all the listed companies which are there into two wheeler three wheeler space would come here so here you need to go to this section see view all scripts all right so we can go here and we can click here on the view all scripts and all the companies listed into two wheeler three wheeler space would come here because i have actually seen people struggling to answer tumhare industry mein kon kon sa company aata hai forget about doing competitive analysis they don't even know hamare industry mein kon kon sa company aata hai all right so this are broadly this is broadly a way first of all through which you can get ki hamare industry mein kon kon sa companies hain okay kyunki usi ke baad aap thoda bahut bhi competitors ke bare mein pad payenge so that is step number 1 second step that i would request everyone to do is to always find the association of your industry almost every industry even there is water park association of india Every industry has an association. Like आप लोग में से कुछ लोग शायद apartments में रहते होंगे, right? Every apartment has an association, correct? But what does an association does? An association discusses everything about apartment. Similarly, the association of a industry discusses everything about an industry. Now, similarly, like in apartment, there can be multiple association. For industries also, there can be multiple associations. You need to figure out by opening the website कि कौन सा association सबसे ज़्यादा active है मतलब कौन सा association सबसे ज़्यादा webinar conduct कर रहा है there might be a publication tab कि annually या quarterly magazines publish हो रही है so that you can understand more about the industry and for that you need to do simple activity like you know for example imagine you are analyzing retail industry okay just Google I will tell you just Google uh, for example see retail Association of India, all right. The first thing that you get is RIA dot net dot in. So this is Retail Association of India. Now, when you go here in the Resources tab, right, you have Knowledge Reports. Now, actually, because you know I have studied DMAT personally for my own, I found these reports to be very good to understand the consumer pattern and major demographic structure for retail in India. So you have reports here from BCG, Deloitte. uh again bcg matlab you have good good reports and a rock here you can go and study the and and you see the frequency they are publishing it almost every quarterly or monthly any good report that is coming on retail so you need to figure out such industries for your particular uh sector or industry you are studying such association websites can be a great tool to understand what is going on in industry for example for mutual amc sector it can be amfi in india for a uh, us focused pharmaceutical company it can be fda for indian focused pharmaceutical company it can be indian drug manufacturer association idma there are almost association for every industry like you can you can go ahead third source that you need to analyze is you need to figure out the trade journals or industry specific blogs of your industry for example if you are analyzing let's say a pharmaceutical industry so there are magazines like you know medicine or pharma compass which publishes great data about uh, in every uh, what what should i put how should i put up for every category of medicine for example dermatology ophthalmology which are the top 10 selling medicines how are the market share improving if any major regulation has come in pharmaceutical or uh, what is the impact 
uh, on that, you know, on, on companies. This information, such informations are very important while you are understanding and tracking a particular business. It will help you. For example, in steel, there are excellent magazines like steel360degree.com or steel mint for uh, for two wheeler three wheeler uh, data there is fantastic website called wahan.nic.in that actually publishes you know a monthly registration data for vehicles and for individual companies as per model 2 so you can actually figure out that traction going on uh, into uh, you know various kind of cc bikes in india and it also gives you state wide registrations too so excellent such such trade generals which basically covers only that particular industry. Those are great souls to have a firm grip over how the industry is evolving. Then the next source that you guys can have is practically one second, yeah. So this was steaming, nothing else. Uh, is about going to uh, the government ministries and I have seen very less people doing that because no one thinks that government can provide good information. But if you see here, and you need to dig a, a little deep, you know, left, right, center, thoda bahut karna padta, but you get good, good, good information from government websites. There are tons of it. Uh, Ministry of Commerce, uh, you have Ministry of Trade, uh, you have Ministry of Power, Ministry of Steel, like ev every main industry has a ministry. And they also conduct it a lot of times a regular webinar, industry association meets, they, they publish their own research papers on the working of industry. It, it can be great source to have a firm grip over how the value chain of a particular industry functions, right? You can also visit, you know, this website called investindia.gov.in. It was mainly, you know, built by the government to actually provide information about every industry to uh, both domestic and you know for, uh, foreign institutional investors so you will find here almost name of every ministry but let's say just taking an example you wanted to understand power so the ministry of power website is power uh, min.gov.in now on the face of it this website looks simple okay theek hai, power can the generation transmission distribution teen tarike ki cheeze hoti hai unke bare mein kuch data hai but while surfing it you know we were also generally surfing it we went here and went to related links, just surfing the website, right? So click on related links, right? So a lot of name of companies or bodies which are relevant for power sector in India propped up. So we actually clicked on this thing, Central Power Research Institute, okay? And this website propped up. And then, then we went into publications. Under publications, we went into market monitoring reports. And boss, every month, this website publishes the power volume and the power pricing data, both of contracts and spot data. These are excellent source for someone who is trying to understand uh, power, power sector as a whole. Regulatory websites, government websites. So, you know, please track such, you know, websites if they are available right uh, for your particular industry all right so the next source for everyone who wants to prepare a great repository so you you might be getting you know my angle what i'm trying to communicate is aapke industry ka google hona chahiye aapke paas don't go to google go to your drive ka link jahan pe ye sare repositories available hain ye sare documents available hain because aapko kuch bhi answer chahiye aapko yahan pe milega so create Google of uh, industry or company that you are analyzing. Then you can also go. So there are two. I found a few software companies so you. There are two or more uh, good uh, companies which conduct uh, webinars on a lot of industries. For example, you can go to Care Rating ka YouTube handle, which is now renamed as Care Edge. Uh, you can go to video section here and you will find a lot of webinars on various industries from gold to automobile, to insurance, to power, to steel, to sugar, everything. They have covered almost everything, right? Real estate, et cetera, gas distribution, uh, infrastructure, cement. You can watch such webinars. Those are extensive webinars of one and a half, two hours each. And it will help you come to uh, basics very quickly. Okay, basically, the industry is going on. 
also similarly you can visit you know parakparikfof.com financial opportunity forum one of the most amazing websites that i've learned a lot from uh, they also conduct a lot of wonderful session on various industries you can go and watch them too so th they, that is one of the methods again then also see what you need to uh, do is you are not the first guy who is covering this report they always covering this industry or company there are analysts who are working in the market who may have already published a report on the same now there are some you know great institutions be it government or be it private right who have actually uploaded their reports detailed reports for free on their websites you can go and download them those are called as initiating coverage reports or sector reports that will help you to come again it will help you with the landscape of industry very quickly because those analysts have access to databases they have access to management and they already have access to internal database ki usse pehle bhi koi analyst hoga jo isko cover kar raha hoga so they have almost all the information collected under them to wo log bahut sara data bhi publish kar dete hain you you come to know ki is business ke liye industry ke liye kaun se data points track karna important hai now it can be government authorities like fikki asochem nascom they also have great reports like you know when i was studying agrochemical industry the reports and webinars on agrochemical by fikki were brilliant i think mujhe usse better koi source aaj tak mila hi nahi industry ko samajhne ke liye so an example there are you know good good private companies to like kpmg evandas edelweiss park capital philip capital hai tong hdfc institution securities motilal oswal ambit reports access capital frost and sullivan those they are equity research companies or consultants uh, you might not you know you may not rely on them for the conclusion the forecasting part but what they do is they help you understand the history pretty well and they use a lot of data points so that will help you you know detect the right things to track for a particular industry or a company so you know just as a sample you know i i i have opened it you know i i will go and show you one thing a lot of people find it difficult to actually understand so you know this is just a sample of if you go on youtube and type fikki agrochemical you will find a lot of detail one and a half to hour webinars and conference on agrochemical and the the most important thing is the founders and promoters of listed and unlisted companies are coming in talking about their business here no not you know just some capital market professional who is covering that business from outside the internal people with full skin in their game full skin in the game are, are coming in talking about their businesses such primary sources are of abundance importance and unfortunately in academics hardly anyone even mention such thing and that is why the quality of you know analysts that people expect in market and the freshers who go in the market they have a huge difference between skill sets and and the knowledge required versus what they study so please you know make sure that you do all this also there is a good source india brand equity foundation that is ibef that is actually a, a government uh, run uh, a system where they have already uploaded detailed reports on every industry and funny thing is they get updated monthly and quarterly with recent data so even you can use that website to you know download reports on industries and study brief them out them uh just showing you uh, an example so if you just google you know hdfc institutional report always use the word motilal oswal institutional reports because those are detailed reports so this is a link that it will take you to okay look look at the reports here see a lot of reports are just quarterly report company ka result aaya kaisa aaya kuch company ka ek major capex plan hua to uska kya impact hai that's okay what we want is detailed reports for example this report on fluoration it explain the complete fluoration value chain and all the listed companies in india extensive report to understand that industry real estate on a cyclical high extensive demand supply analysis region wise done by hdfc guys to help you understand ke real estate ka cycle abhi kyun unko pick up hota hua lag raha hai read this one report and you will understand the parameters you need to track and the important thing is un logo ne jahan pe data dala hoga na 
उसके नीचे दे ऑल्सो मेंशन सोर्स कि उन्होंने डेटा कहां लिया है हाफ ऑफ द टाइम्स दैट सोर्स इज कंपनीज डेटाबेस यू आर स्टक देयर यू कैन नॉट डू एनीथिंग बट हाफ ऑफ द टाइम दे मेंशन द प्राइमरी सोर्स फॉर एग्जांपल एनरोक कंसलटेंट सो यू नीड टू गो टू द एनरोक वेबसाइट बिकॉज़ अगर एचडीएफसी बना एनरोक से डेटा ले रहा है तो व्हाई नॉट गो एंड डायरेक्टली ट्रैक एनरोक and you will find a lot of you know monthly and quarterly demand supply analysis done by anarok on real estate or if for example you are tracking hotel hotel ke andar bhi demand supply track karna bahut important go to hotel ville uh, ka website good consultant good reports on hotel industry entire demand supply analysis so is tarike se in reports ko track kiya jata hai also figure out ki report mein author ka naam aata hai ये ये रिपोर्ट किसने लिखी है फॉर एग्जांपल इफ आई क्लिक ऑन द पीडीएफ हियर द पीडीएफ विल ओपन अप सी इट इज अ 62 पेज रिपोर्ट्स ऐसे डिटेल रिपोर्ट चाहिए सी आपको यहां पे दिखे एनालिस्ट के नेम्स जिन्होंने रिपोर्ट बनाया है जब आपका खुद का एक रीजनेबल वर्क हो जाता है लाइक like आपका खुद का एक अंडरस्टैंडिंग बनता है 3 हफ्ते 1 महीना 1.5 महीने के बाद फॉर एग्जांपल रियल एस्टेट में ईमेल देम गेट इन टच विद देम कि दिस इज माय वर्क दिस इज व्हाट आई हैव डन दिस इज व्हाट आई हैव अंडरस्टूड try to connect with 10 people yaar uh, at least one response trust me one out of 10 two out of 10 people are kind enough to look at your work and respond either for a call or for a meeting or for a zoom call now get in touch with them they might open up more doors for you for industry connect to understand this industry better it's a great system our students apply it almost every time they do project i thought even the general a uh, society should be aware of the same okay also there are you know sector specific twitter handles that you can you know look forward to for example if you are uh, analyzing anything into you know export import side there is twitter handle of government called dp iit publishes regular data uh, if you for example are analyzing packaging there is at what packaging ka twitter handle publishes almost everything that is happening uh day to day in the packaging industry if you are for example following chemicals so chemicals ke andar chemical ka pricing upar ya niche jana thoda important ho jata hai it affects quarterly margins of company there are twitter handle like chem analyst or petrochem india for automobiles there is fada india uh just go and you know follow their you know twitter handles too rather than just following you know stock tips wale handle if you follow such handles it will help you build good database around the industry you are tracking okay and as it is you know there is a great forum i have learned from it a lot that is valley picker forum it is the first thing that i started reading when i started my career around 2010 11 uh, into capital markets so for example you know what you need to do is I, i will just show you a sample so see here i will go i think i already have it as my thumbnail so if i go and open valley picker forum here okay see so you this is the value picker forum okay so you need to go into the search bar now first of all let's imagine you are analyzing loris labs a pharma company so first of all you know type loris labs just type loris and click you will get wo company ke upar two threads chal rahe hain okay so now see this aapko ye tags pe dhyan dena hai one tag is stock opportunities here almost every guy who has an account on value picker discusses their point of view or ask each other that question about loris lab and this is collaborators corner here the esteemed people who the value picker moderators have approved who who they think are specialized to discuss advanced level of information on this company only they post so try to read both kind of handles and for example if you are covering a company like pi yaar wo 10 saal se discuss ho raha hai yahan pe 2010 se i think there are approximately 1200 1500 comments you can filter you know 400 500 co- comments which are just on quarterly result kaisa aaya acha aaya stock upar kyu gaya niche kyu gaya but the remaining portion contains abundant information uh, about a uh, business so you can read that the second thing that you need to do is just type the name of the industry let's say pharma bas pharma click karo okay and you will find threads which are only on pharma industry as a whole so you know i have figured those out and i have <laughs> collected them in, in our forum see here so i have aligned them also ki agar ye chhe thread is sequence mein koi pad gaya right 
they will gain complete knowledge on how to analyze a domestic or a us based pharma company so you know even, even that's a great thing now there are some industries where the terminologies are very difficult to understand for example agar koi newbie aake pharma pad raha hai he would be like what is api what is formulation what is intermediate if someone is you know uh, understanding insurance industry bole what is this ape i don't understand that someone is understanding st- steel sector bole ye eaf kya hota hai uh, i don't know a lot of times the terminologies are very complex right और अगर आपको उनके टर्म्स ही नहीं क्लियर है आप एनिमल रिपोर्ट्स पढ़ के समझ क्या पाएंगे सो यू नीड टू गूगल ऑन यू नो फॉर एग्जांपल इफ यू आर एनालाइजिंग इंश्योरेंस यू नो जस्ट गूगल टर्मोलॉजीज ऑफ इंश्योरेंस सेक्टर एंड प्रेस एंटर एंड यू विल गेट वेरियस लिंक्स ऑफ वेरियस ब्लॉक्स एंड दो विल बी एक्सप्लेनिंग यू द मोस्ट कॉमन यूज टर्म इन दट इंडस्ट्री रीड दैट फर्स्ट it's like that example imagine if you don't understand a b c d e f you don't understand the alphabets you cannot use them to frame a word similarly if you don't understand words you cannot frame a sentence if you cannot understand a sentence you cannot understand what does it mean so it's very important to understand critical words and terminology is relevant to a particular industry not every industry is so simple yaar like a two wheeler industry or a fmcg industry के उनके तो आप खुद कंज्यूमर्स हैं डे टू डे लाइफ में तो वहां आपको इजीली समझ आ जाता है ऑल राइट सो एज अल यू नो आई आई एम जस्ट शोइंग यू यू नो आर स्टूडेंट्स ऑल्सो डू एक्सटेंसिव वर्क ऑफ यू नो मेकिंग सच इंडस्ट्री लैंग्वेज का रिपोजिटरी सो आई जस्ट यू नो यू नो अपलोडेड टू लिंक्स हियर यू कैन हैव अ लुक एट दैट कि आपको डेप्थ समझ में आए कि ये तो उनका बेसिक वर्क था यहाँ से तो लोग स्टार्ट करते हैं पहले खाली की टर्मोलॉजी पढ़ना एंड मेजोरिटी रिपोर्ट में आप ये देखोगे कि लोग की टर्मोलॉजी को समझाना ही रिसर्च रिपोर्ट समझ लेते हैं यहां से तो स्टार्ट होता है उसके बाद बिजनेस आता है पिक्चर में सो so, अगर आपको किसी को स्टील सेक्टर का लैंग्वेज समझना है यू कैन विजिट दिस ब्लॉग वीटीएस इन्वेस्टिंग अगर आपको इंश्योरेंस का समझना है जस्ट एज अ टू सैम्पल यू नो ऑफ टू स्टूडेंट आई अपलोडेड हियर के इफ यू विजिट दिस लिंक यू विल गेट अ वेरी गुड आइडिया अबाउट हाउ इन डेप the terms of sectors have, have been explained and why it's so important also the one more activity that you can do on a broad industry level is go to youtube youtube is a friend for example you are understanding cement aapko yahi samajh mein nahi aata bhaiya cement banta kaise ab jk lakshmi ho ya shri cement ho to baad mein padhenge na business model acha ya bura imagine on google if i would have just typed jk lakshmi cement google aapko aur mere ko ye page deta hai okay जस्ट रोल डाउन बिलो जेके लक्ष्मी का खुद का यूट्यूब चैनल है ओके वेर देव एक्चुअली एक्सप्लेन द एंटायर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्रोसेस ऑफ सीमेंट इन फाइव मिनट्स थ्रू विजुअल ग्राफिक्स आपको ग्राइंडिंग यूनिट क्या होता है आपको वेस्ट रिकवरी हीट सिस्टम क्या होता है नाइन स्टोन क्या होता है क्लिंकर क्या होता है हीटिंग कैसे चलता है एवरीथिंग हैज बिन एक्सप्लेन ग्रे सीमेंट क्या होता है व्हाइट सीमेंट क्या होता है एवरीथिंग हैज बीन एक्सप्लेन बाय अ सीमेंट कंपनी इटसेल्फ सो गो एंड वॉच सच वीडियोस अगर आपको यू नो मिल्क इंडस्ट्री समझ आए जस्ट टाइप वैल्यू चेन ऑफ मिल्क इंडस्ट्री इन इंडिया देयर्स अ वीडियो आई थिंक बाय सीएनबीसी ऑफ अ ऑफ अ यूएस ऑफ अ मल्टीनेशनल कॉल डैनन जो कि इंडिया में आया था बट ड्यू टू दिस वैल्यू चेन का प्रॉब्लम दे लेफ्ट इंडिया दे कुड नॉट कंट्रोल द मिल्क सप्लाई फार्मर से मिल्क कैसे कलेक्ट करे यू नो बिकॉज इन इंडिया फार्मर आर फ्रेगमेंटेड गली गली जाके आपको दूध कलेक्ट करना पड़ेगा आइसक्रीम और मिल्क बनाने के लिए पैशराइजेशन बेसिकली ग्रेट ग्रेट सोर्स यूट्यूब ये हुए कुछ इंडस्ट्री स्पेसिफिक चीज है डैट यू कैन कवर बट अपार्ट फ्रॉम डैट ऑब्वियसली बिकॉज यू आर एनालाइजिंग कंपनी ऑल्सो यू नीड टू कलेक्ट अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स अराउंड अ स्पेसिफिक कंपनी सो द फर्स्ट वन इज ऑब्वियसली वैल्यू पिक थ्रेड डेट आई एक्सप्लेन राइट यू शुड ऑब्वियसली गो एंड रीड दैट second important document is environmental clearance report now in a lot of industries uh like chemical or pharma uh or cement uh, whenever you want to put up a new plant you need to take government approval so ki pollution wagera ka bahut yahan pe issue hota hai so you need to submit something called as ec report now those reports are gold mine to understand raw materials kya hai finished products kya hai company kitne crore ka capex kar rahi hai kyun kar rahi hai 
कहाँ पे कर रही है जमीन कितने की होगी प्लांट की कैपेसिटी कितने की होगी इसके अंदर पावर कंजम्पन कितना होगा ऑलमोस्ट एवरी डिटेल इज अवेलेबल हियर वी वुड इन फैक्ट एक सेपरेट सेशन बिकॉज इफ यू लुक फॉरवर्ड टू ई सी वेबसाइट आई डोंट नो हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू विल नो हाउ टू यूज दैट दिस इज एनवायरमेंटल क्लियरेंस का वेबसाइट सो विल विल टीच यू एग्जैक्टली पी ओ आर के अंदर जाके कैसे ई सी रिपोर्ट डाउनलोड किया जाता है क्या क्या वहां पर इन्फॉर्मेशन अवेलेबल होती है बट ऑन द लेटर साइड यू नो अदरवाइज वन वीडियो बिकम्स वे टू लॉन्ग सो दैट इज वन ऑफ द थिंग्स दैट यू कैन कलेक्ट नाउ दे इज वन मोर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डॉक्यूमेंट दैट यू कैन सी हियर दैट इज द क्यू आई पी डॉक्यूमेंट अ लॉट ऑफ कंपनीज आफ्टर गेटिंग लिस्टेड I am so sorry. Yeah, after getting listed, comes up with you know quality you know uh, institutional placement basically quality institutional placement where uh, a lot of big investors directly buy block from the company uh, of equity. So whenever you come up with QIP like a main DRHP document, जो कि company IPO के time पे publish करती है, उतना ही detail documents इन लोगों को वापस से publish करना पड़ता है. So you can go see if you are analyzing let's say any of the companies listed here. or in fact not even your own company for example if you would have been analyzing let's say banking industry or aap hdfc bank cover kar rahe hain but aapko dikh raha hai qip aa rakha hai yahan pe bank of india ka aur canara bank ka indian bank ka ab yaar hai to wo bhi bank so whenever you go to you know qip documents you know there are lot of sections available here but what we are mainly interested in is the industry overview and the company overview section थोड़ा बहुत रिस्क वगैरह वाला पार्ट और इक्विटी पोर्शन भी आता है बट कैपिटल स्ट्रक्चर लेट्स लीव इट फॉर टाइम बिंग सो इफ यू लुक हियर एट द इंडेक्स राइट इन द इंडेक्स आई आई विल टेक यू टू डैट थिंग जस्ट वन सेकेंड या सी दिस इज द सेक्शन आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट इंडस्ट्री ओवरव्यू एंड आर बिजनेस हियर दे वुड हैव डिस्कस अबाउट देयर ओन बैंक एंड अबाउट द एंटायर इंडस्ट्री सो इफ यू गो एंड क्लिक ऑन द इंडस्ट्री ओवरव्यू ऑलमोस्ट एवरी रेलिवेंट इंफॉर्मेशन रिगार्डिंग दिस इंडस्ट्री is discussed here obviously this sections are itself prepared by investment bankers and consultants so okay we can take you know conclusions which a pinch of salt if you don't agree with that but a put data sufficient mil jayega that is relevant to analyze a particular industry so aisa nahi hota ki aap khali apne company ke documents se download kare ye sab you can also download documents of other companies from the same industry so ye to hua qip but Before QIP, IPO documents are equally important. Jinka structure same hota. Now imagine you are analyzing a uh, retail industry. You are analyzing, for example, Arvin Fashions. Okay. So abhi Vedant Fashion ka I think the guys who own Manyavar, if I'm not wrong, they they have come up with IPO, right? They they are coming up with an IPO here. So even they would have you know covered the fashion industry, na? so you can go and understand about clothing industry and fashion even from their drhp it would have same section you know the website will take time to open up but it will take you know same 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 section like industry overview and company overview in this doc you can go and study about that all right it's a very important source so go to filing go to sebi.gov.in go to filing go to public issue go to draft offer and you will have name of the companies which have filed ipo so चार पांच छह साल पहले तक के आईपीओ डॉक्यूमेंट्स अवेलेबल होते हैं अब कोई कंपनी पंद्रह साल पहले आईपीओ लेके आई होगी तो आपको उसका डीआरएचपी नहीं मिलेगा वो आपको नॉर्मल गूगल करने से मिल गया तो मिल गया अदरवाइज यू नो यू डोंट यू डोंट गेट इट राइट सो दैट्स दैट्स ओके सो नेक्स्ट सोर्स अराउंड कंपनी कैन बी यू नो आई विल टेक यू टू स्क्रीनर सो आई थिंक माई अकाउंट इज ऑलरेडी लॉक इन यू इफ यू डोंट हैव द प्रीमियम अकाउंट गाइज आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट एवरी टू टेक स्क्रीनर प्रीमियम इट्स अ ग्रेट सोर्स in a very nominal charge of 5000 rupees so go here uh, below the company here so you see get here few very important so first of all corporate announcements koi bhi company jab aap panna chalu karte hain na un company ke last ke 3 4 5 saal ke corporate announcement definitely padhe jate hain ab bahut log jo ki ye freshers honge jinko khali ek do saal ka experience hai for for those who are listening this recording you won't be able to understand the importance uh, of corporate announcements yahan pe company ka koi bhi critical product launch ho raha hai ya company bahut important capex plan kar rahi hai ya promoter ka stock ka buying selling hua ya koi important director resign kiya ya uska intake hua is sari information corporate announcements ke andar available hoti hai 
it's it, it's mainly track to understand how the equity inflow outflow has happened but to a fresher to understand that level of detail immediately becomes difficult and i understand that but we'll explain that over period of you know our videos later on but it's again a very important source corporate announcement you can directly download annual reports from here again that's mandatory of at least past 10 years credit rating reports are a wonderful source for a company uh, and obviously aapki company mein thoda bahut debt chahiye to bhi unka credit rating reports itna frequently update hota hai but credit rating reports are published by people who are viewing company from a safety net from a risk net because they want recovery of principal and interest payment timely so they also talk about you know good good things about business model of a company which can affect them broadly on a negative side so good good source to understand about business models and conference calls for people again who are not aware of what is a conference call a lot of company uh invites analyst which are who are covering their businesses for a discussion on a conference call after they publish their quarterly results or annual result now this is not a mandatory requirement by sebi that is why koi company ne ek quarter ke baad conference call kiya fir shayad teen quarter nahi kiya koi company to kabhi conference call karte hi nahi but there are some companies which regularly do conference call so transcript means us conference call ka pura detailed written communication here you find analysts asking uh, questions directly to the management and management explaining them to the analyst about everything to so starting ke conference call ka wo hi hello hota hai company ka management batata hai kaisa result aaya kya acha hua kya bura hua types and then the qna starts see so here uh, you know people start with qna so there is a guy called rajiv batra who is asking the question the uh, the guy the promoters i think mayank single was uh, available here rajnish sanna again was available on the call both are from the management team of pi they were answering all the questions asked by the analyst so it's it's good thing it's a extraordinary thing to go and read last you know as much as conference call actually as you can read if they are available uh, around the company you get finer details okay then obviously management interviews now there are lot of time issues with availability of data in annual reports aur wo company conference call me nahi karti but kabhi kabhi kya hai management na apne association ke webinar mein ya normal cnbc et now ke interview mein they come and they talk about the company sometimes they discuss such kind of information there like i i remember once when our students were covering uh i think a company from hotel sector they were in desperate need of the trend of occupancy rate in that company unfortunately it wasn't covered anywhere and even management wasn't answering the same so either you can go to the annual general meeting uh, of of the company but wo they were covering it at a point of time ke wo agm aane wale one two months ke andar scheduled bhi nahi tha luckily and i think they were analyzing that hotel company 2019 but luckily around 2018 management gave an interview where they talked about their occupancy rate and they even said ke last 4 5 years se aisa hi chala hai bingo the work got done so sometimes you know you get information it's all about just creating that database around your company kaam aaye nahi aaye that's okay sometimes there are also things called as sustainability report especially in chemical companies like if i take you to rt industries website you have a tab called sustainability here and you have something here called sustainability reports okay i hope you are able to see my tab so in such sustainability reports they talk a lot about the processes and the costing around it the, the you know the value chain of business raw materials kya hai kaise process hote hain kya kya wahan pe humne kuch naya kiya hai jisse hamara kharcha bache ya regulations ka requirement fulfill ho again very important thing yeah to understand uh, in some businesses you can you can go about that and again it's mandatory yeah it's like almost unfit part to read the investor presentation so if you go to investor tabs right uh, you can go to downloads right under downloads i think uh just a second where do they have it okay let me just click on the investor tab investor relations yeah let me go to financials okay 
that they have annual reports here. I think their link is missing, but uh, I think RT also publishes clearly, if I'm not wrong, investor presentation. Let, let me search it one second, guys. RT industry is investor presentation. Or you could have gone to the site link also. You would have gotten that, right? See, yeah. So there are direct links here. So these are investor presentations also, those are available. I, we could have also got it from Sightlink, just in the recording, you know, I immediately Googled, so that's okay. So such investor presentations are also equally important. If you see here, uh, companies discuss a lot of critical information uh, about the business, how they have grown, the finer aspect, you know, jo basically an animal report ka management discussion and analysis section hota hai na. Uh, wo hota char -panch page ka, right? Where management talks about agar aap image wagera card do to char -panch page ka hota hai, where they talk about unka business queue, grow kiya, etc. and all. Investor presentation is an exemplified version of management discussion and analysis. Here they go in so much of depth that they cannot go in an annual report. So please, you know, read past five to ten years or at least last, you know. Uh, two to three years of investor presentations to understand your company's growth trajectory very clearly. That is one of uh, important source. Also, you know, now a lot of, you know, a sector specific things, you know, start coming up. For example, if you are analyzing a, a, a natural resource company or a commodity company where you need uh, your finished goods ka price or your raw material ka price, you can go to a lot of websites like investing.com, tradingeconomics.com, indexmundi.com. Where you get sugar, steel, soya beans, you will get prices. If you want to analyze the corporate governance issues around your company historically, that your promoter has minority shareholders with some wrong regulations, you can go to ingovern.com and iasadvisory.com. They, they, they are you know, proxy advisory services and they publish reports. When they think that this management is wrong with the shareholders. So search your company and see that your company can do such issues. To hai. Watch out investors.com has now become paid. Otherwise, this is also a great tool to access your company ke directors. Ka naam dal ke. Just you can check individually on or overall company. Ke upar, kuch major legal cases. To chal rahe. In India, specifically, there is a lot of issue of promoters amalgamating private owned entities at very high valuations with listed entity isse unka stake badh jata hai in financial analysis series we will take a session on the same so you know please track these two websites and magazines morgens india and mna critic uh, they talk about all the margin and acquisitions and amalgamations that are happening in india if you want to download brief financials uh, around of your company from you know uh, in, in an Excel ready-made template, you can go to screener.com or tijorifinance.com. You can also go to ticker.com. These three are basically a financial uh, database websites that will help you out. Yeah, so broadly, you know, this is what, you know, these are the broad sources through which you can actually uh, collect information about an industry or company that you are analyzing. And obviously, apart from that, you can also uh, uh, collect a few blogs. Those have already published research reports on the same. So, for example, if you go to tijorifinance.com, what they have done is, for example, you are covering a company called Ecrisil Limited, random company, random name that dropped uh, into my mind. So, if you click on the search bar, me Ecrisil type. Karke, if I can show you, now I will show you. One second, let me open the tab. My free usage, although will go away. Uh, they only allow three free search a month. So let me type here Tijori one second. Huh? Tijori Finance. So I will go to Tijori Finance here. Let's search Ecrisil. Okay. A C R Y S I L. We will go to Ecrisil. Okay. So see, you can go to knowledge base here. If you can see here, the word is knowledge base, right? Here we have knowledge base. If you go to knowledge base, okay, you can go down here. 
one second i think it's still loading yeah that's okay yeah let's go to knowledge base okay see here they have already covered few good blocks which have already been published on this company called equivocal all right so you can directly go and visit this links to already kai logo ne company cover kar rakhi hai jo ki individual investors and individual analysts ko ke you can actually read that to ek aapko again kisi ka opinion mat maniyega but aapko ek way of understanding that particular company aapko mil jayega all right so i think with this will end our today's session also yeah yeah before i forget there there is one blog you know www.myinvestmentdiary.com i found this blog very fascinating he had covered actually you know uh they these are the two links again this guy has brilliantly covered almost everything that you may need uh you know that the kind of sources that you can use to extract information about a company or a industry you you can go and visit this two links too and i would like to credit uh this guy whoever he is for his brilliant work all right guys so again as usual please subscribe to our youtube channel you will find it below uh wait for our next session and also do watch our financial analysis and valuation series again follow us on instagram we go by the name finakan_sha we post good great yet funny content on instagram you can follow us on twitter too we write lot of good short threads there we go uh, with the handle finakal academy and see you back in session number 4 thank you so much guys take care